Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good morning, Shannon Cook. Thank you for joining me here live in Dallas on the Valder BB Show. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. It's great to be here. Well, you're going to catch us up on what Spotify is doing. It's doing some incredible things as a company. It's really changed the world of music. What's going on? Well, at the moment, we're celebrating our 10th anniversary. O October marks 10 years since we launched. We launched way back in 2008. And so to celebrate, we've sort of, we've been sharing with everybody some key milestones, like our top artists, um, our number of playlists, and, and some, some fun facts and figures to go along with that 10-year anniversary. Okay, so if you're a, a definitely a, a listener of Spotify, this is decade of this is a decade of discovery. That's right, and that's what we're calling our celebration campaign. We actually made a playlist called Decade of Discovery, and it was so fun to put together to look at all the, the top songs of the last decade going back to 2008 when people were listening to a lot of Lady Gaga um, and The Killers and right up to today where everyone's listening to Drake and Ed Sheeran mostly. Okay, so we've got top artists, top songs, and I'm assuming you're going to sing a few of those songs. Oh, I'm not going to sing anything <laughs> for you today. You and Sorry. I both won't be singing. That's okay. <laughs> we're, we're okay. I hope my audience is okay with that. But yet, as Spotify turns how was streaming? How has streaming helped to change our listening preferences? Well, that's a good question. I think um, one of the things that makes the Spotify experience special is that, as well as being so easy to access your favorite songs and artists, it's really easy to organize your music into playlists. And our listeners have created more than three billion playlists by themselves on Spotify and they make multiple playlists for all different occasions from working out to going on picnics to doing homework to the evening commute um, back home from work. Uh, and what we've found is that playlists are a really useful tool for helping people discover new, new music. We curate some playlists um, for our listeners on Spotify and we update them regularly and people really rely on our playlists to point them towards what's hot and happening in music, and to help them come across some new artists and tracks. Okay, you talked a little bit, you mentioned Lady Gaga and Ed Sheeran, a couple people. Uh, tell me some of the other top artists and maybe even the top songs of the decade. Absolutely, I would love to share that information. Our most streamed artist of the the last 10 years, is in fact the rapper Drake, uh, followed by Ed Sheeran. Those two artists are just always popular on Spotify, as I mentioned earlier. Eminem is also really, really popular, followed by The Weeknd. And Rihanna is our fifth most streamed artist. Rihanna, by the way, was our first artist to reach 1 billion streams on Spotify. She achieved that back in 2013. As for top songs, our most streamed song of all is Shape of You by Ed Sheeran, uh, followed by One Dance by Drake, and also the song Closer by the Chainsmokers, which was very popular a couple of summers ago. These, these I, I, the numbers are boggling uh, when you talk yes. about them, uh, a billion streams and things like that. Yeah. Spotify is considered a disruptor, though. <laughs> How do you guys feel about that title? Um, I think we're pretty happy with it. I mean... I, it's funny to me to be sitting here and talk, throwing out the word billion or billions um, like it's birthday cake um, because I've been with Spotify for five and a half years and when I first started coming, going out and talking about the service, I was celebrating artists who had achieved 30 million streams, you know, and that was momentous. <laughs> but now we're talking about billions. It's crazy. It is. And so... What do you guys see for the future of Spotify and us as music listeners? 
Well, one of the things that we're we're really we're branching out a little bit with our, the content that we make available on Spotify, and we're really focusing on podcasts. So not only can you actually find all your favorite songs and artists on Spotify, you can also listen to podcasts. We're really building our catalog. We've got podcasts from you know, the comedy um, field. We've got uh, true crime podcasts, newsy podcasts, music-related podcasts, uh, and we want people to know that they can come to us for, for more than just music. When you say podcast, though, what do you mean? Is it different in the music world than it is in the movie world? Uh, well, I mean, we're—I mean, podcasts are an incredibly popular um, content platform these days. If you don't have a podcast, apparently you're nobody. So I'm a nobody because I don't have a podcast. And podcasts are available in all different, different on all different platforms. And we just thought, you know what? It's time for us to jump on the the podcast um, bandwagon. I like your thinking. Okay, so Spotify is having this momentous celebration. Where can my audience go online and be a part of the celebration because this is your audience? I recommend checking out our um, Decade of Discovery playlist. It's jam-packed with 162 songs from the last 10 years. It's a nice little trip down memory lane going all the way back to 2008, which isn't too far. We're just talking about 10 years. Uh, but you can find it by searching for Decade of Discovery. And it's, it's people are loving this playlist, so check it out. And good. Thank you so much. I love what you guys are doing. Keep doing it. Maybe we'll talk in 10 more years or before that. <laughs> that sounds fun. Thank you.